Hello and welcome to Solo Enterprises with Akode and um, it's really really amazing to actually be here. The dollar was at 1,290,280 that was last week and this week the dollar is at 1,214 naira. So many of the distributors have had the time to know actually change some of their prices you know as, the, as we've been seeing this huge decline which is actually pretty amazing. There are, these are so many so many things that you actually find out you know in this video as the prices have actually come down and I'll just be sharing you know brief uh, about some of these equipments and as we always do it. Without further ado let's jump right in. So here's a summary. It's a weekly overview of solar equipment from solar panels to batteries and inverters. Basically everything that you need to know. Um, solar price hike and fluctuations. This is due to inflation and rise in the dollar. Um, top tier and local equipment. Equipment um, prices for the most reliable and local brands. Most approximate price from distributors. Prices were compiled from multiple Nigerian distributors to give an awesome overview of, so of solar prices. All right. So here are some of the products that we have. We have Era Solar, we have J Solar, we have Canadian Solar, we have Jinko Solar, we have Growers Inverter, we have Deer Inverter, we have Solis Inverter, um, which I'll be sharing a little bit on. And uh, we have um, Pylon Tech Lithium, we have Expert Inverter, we have Twin Tech, we have Felicity, we have MIV Charger, we have Ado, and we have Japstein. All right. Um, so um, here are some of the prices you know that we have this week for Era Solar. We have the Era Solar 400 watts mono at 118,000 naira so you can go check that out um that's 295 naira per watt compared to last week at 315 naira per watt okay also we have j solar j solar 565 watts is at 162,000 naira that's 286 naira per watt um three on um as at last week it was 313 naira per watt um also, we have um, Jinko Solar. Jinko Solar 435 watt is at 124,000 naira. That's 285 naira per watt compared to last week at 314 naira per watt. As you can see, the huge decline right there. All right. Um, we have Canadian Solar. 605 watt at um, 174,000 naira. That's 287 naira per watt compared to last week at 312 naira per watt. Um, also, we have the Growart inverter, the Growart ES5048 volt. That's a um, um, PV, an um, MPPT PV side of 6,000 watts. All right, so you can put at least 6,000 watts on this guy, and it's going to be pretty comfortable with it. That's the PV side. All right. So it goes for 720,000 naira compared to last week at 800,000 naira, and we have the expert inverter. Aspect MKS 2 5 kilowatts goes um, goes for 830,000 naira. This has a um, PV side of that means you can put at least 4,500 watts of solar in there. All right, um, that's um, last week it was 900,000 naira. As for the MKS 5 kilowatt, all right. Um, we have the Deye also, the 5 kilowatt Deye. The PV is 6,500 at 1,600,000 naira. As of last week, it was 1.7 million. All right, so that's one thing you actually want to know. So you can see the huge decline there, you know, even with the, um, the Deye inverter. All right, um, the, we also have the 5 kilowatt Solis. Um, the 5 kilowatt Solis inverter, I've, I've heard of the Solis and I think it's a really really cool brand and that's why I'm actually featuring it here. It's um, it's a brand that is pretty solid and it's actually something that you can actually check out. Alright, and the PV for this um, 5 kilowatt Solis is um, 5500 watts. So you can put a, that much solar on it and it's basically high voltage, I think um, 500 volts um, that you can actually use right there. All right, that's 900,000 naira. and you can actually go check it out. All right, so um, we have the 5 kilowatt UP5000 pylon tech. Um, so I, I, I posted some videos, you know, recently where I um, showed an unboxing of the um, UP5000. You can actually go check out that video. As at last week, the, um, the pylon tech was 2,175,000 naira. So this is one thing that I actually want to say about the Pylon Tech. I've been noticing that a lot of people have been having many issues with the Pylon Tech UP5000. Not many people, but I've seen people that have issues with some of these batteries. And um, one of the things that I notice is 
so many people that install these batteries don't actually you know make them communicate so apart from the batteries communicating one of the things that one of the ways that you can actually process process warranty with these batteries is when you have communication and you can now share the data of you know what your system has actually been doing so there's a data if you are using a grow out inverter for example if you are using a day inverter so it shows you every day you have a data sheet of what goes on in your inverter when it um, probably went off you know the voltages uh, per time and stuff like that you know these are some of the things that your manufacturers used to you know know if you know what really happened here you know for some of us that are pretty well inclined with you know some of this data also we can actually check to know okay these are some of the things this is where something went wrong what happened here what where where is the error sign what what is the error sign um because these inverters are pretty they're smart inverters they're not just dumb inverters they are pretty smart and they know what is actually happening and many times that is a that an issue goes uh, you know there's that something goes up and stuff like that there's always an error sign so what happens when there's communication within the inverter and the battery is it first of all gives you the right voltage the right voltage that is um, preset that is normal for the battery so um and many times with the up5000 for example we have the acan the acan is where you plug in you put in your communication port and you put it into the bms port of the inverter so once that is basically connected you can see you know it can, it can communicate with the battery i think you have to then set lithium on the inverter so once lithium is set you can now see like there's a communication between the battery and the inverter so that's when you can see all this data you can see basically everything that's happening it presets the um, the battery voltages and so many other stuff so that you don't have to do it and many times when i see many of these settings people just set yeah yeah Pylon Tech gives you a charge voltage of about 53.7, 53.5 volts for like um, the float voltage or the bulk and absorb. And that's what many times people set. But I've noticed with the Pylon Tech that it stays at 52.5. So many of the other jargons that you can actually, actually just find out there that you don't want to actually just go through all the stress, just make them communicate. So people have, a lot of people have been having issues with many of these batteries because you don't allow the battery to communicate with the inverter, okay? And it will happen to all the batteries that have communication ports also. If you are using, if you are using a lead acid battery, you don't need all this communication. It's basic. Just once you set it up in your inverter, if you have an inverter that can actually do all these settings and stuff like that, um, many of these inverters that are not so smart would not do all that because they have it already preset. If you're using a lead acid battery, that's why you have to use a lead acid battery. A lead acid, acid battery for some of those stuff. But if you are using smart batteries like this, they require that you have the right settings put up. So not just for pylon type batteries, but for a whole lot, bunch of other smart, you know, um, lithium ion batteries. So the BMS can communicate directly with the inverter and it knows basically when everything is happening. I know you, many of you might not understand all this jargon, but it's actually pretty important, especially if you are an installer. These are some of the things that you have to learn. These are some of the things that you have to know with these inverters. You don't just put up, and because I've actually seen it, people just put up these inverters and there's no communication for them. There was one I saw recently where you know it was just pretty nice setup, but no communication port. Then what what is it doing? Then eventually the inverter now starts to you know there's, there are faults, there are things that um, start up. The battery the battery does not work anymore and stuff like that. Don't go through all that stress, okay? All right, so we have the Felicity five kilowatt Felicity um, battery, the FL LPBF forty eight one hundred at one point seven million. Um, as of last week, it was 1.730 um, million. All right. We also have the Felicity 5 KVA inverter as an hybrid inverter at 650,000 Naira. You can actually also go check that out. I'm not the biggest fan, I always say, of the Felicity. So, uh, anytime I talk about this, I think it's just important for me to know, for you to note that the only reason I'm actually putting the Felicity up here is because of you guys. You asked for it. All right. Um, the 60 amp hour MIV charger. Is 150,000 naira. You can go check that out for the local stores. Not many prices have changed. 
and, you know, I, I mentioned that also in previous videos that with distributors is actually different from you know some of your local stores and many of these local brands I'm, I'm not you know completely saying go and buy it I'm just saying you know you ask for it and that's why I'm giving all right we have the twin tech 320 watt solar panel for 120,000 naira and we have 220 amp hour Afri power battery for 340,000 naira you can actually go check that out and we have 220 amp hour Ado battery I've seen the, I've seen a lot of adverts on Ado so um, I've, I, 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 I've seen people that have actually installed them they have the same issues that every normal lead acid battery is okay all right so this one goes for 340,000 naira all right so we also have the Japstein 220 amp hour Japstein battery goes for 310,000 naira. You can actually also go check that out. All right. So um, we've come to the end of the um, of solar enterprises, and um, please like and subscribe.